First, the 21st Century Sailor and Marine Initiative is readiness. When we look across the most pressing personal problems across our Navy and Marine Corps, suicide, sexual assault, domestic violence, personal safety, DUIs and alcohol-related incidents, there's one common denominator, and that's the misuse of alcohol. Objects to the responsible use of alcohol. We want to provide every Sailor and Marine with the tools and the information they need to make good decisions. That's why we're rolling out efforts like the Who Will Stay On My Watch campaign, of personal testimonials from sailors and marines attesting to uh, how alcohol has changed their life and their career. That's why we're rolling out efforts like the Domino Strategy, so sailors and marines have the knowledge and the information, the science of the impact and the duration uh, alcohol can have on their bodies and their decision making. And that's why in a program you've probably heard about already, we'll be introducing breathalyzers as tools for leaders across the fleet. Use of alcohol can lead to career-altering and even life-altering incidents, but that is for themselves. Alcohol is a factor in nearly 13 of the recent CO release. 40 suicides involve alcohol. Navy, we have about 108 DUIs every month. And the relation between sexual assault, domestic violence, and alcohol is undeniable. That's why the introduction of the breathalyzer tool is an effort for leaders to be able to identify and deter conduct trends and behavior in their sailors and marines so that they can be offered the tools, the guidance, um, information they need to prevent a career-altering or life-altering event before it happens. To be clear, the use of breathalyzer is not a legal punitive effort. It will actually lead to NJP or master any legal proceeding. This is an information provider so that again, leaders, COs, chief officers, leading petty officers, identify behavior, identify trends, and guide sailors and marines uh, to the help they need, the tooling they need, the information they need to stave off tragedy before it happens. Every decision coming across the brow reporting to work will be breathalyzed. Other working sailors on the crew will be subject to random uh, breathalyzer. It won't be used for port call when sailors are off duty and coming back from liberty. Um, it won't be used for sailors on their way to liberty or tested out in town. This is for our personnel coming to work, coming to work in the most technologically uh, savvy and the best uh, set of equipment or gear the world has ever known. You are working on the most technically advanced gear and equipment that the world has ever seen. We need you at your A game every day. This is a tool to help ensure that you succeed and excel. Again, it's not punitive. It's not supposed to be a legal proceeding. It's to help identify trends early so the sailors and marines are provided the information uh, the background and the counseling in some cases they may need to help prevent that career altering or life ending incident from ever happening. Be used for duty sections reporting to work and also for uh, uh, random sailors at work. It will not be used in port call for sailors off duty coming back from liberty. It will not be used in town. It will be not be used for sailors en route to liberty. Ensuring that each of our sailors and marines working on the most sophisticated gear in the world are at the top of their game, are sharp, and will be out on the pointy end. As we look toward Pacific and the Pacific Gulf and our President's new defense strategy in which it sees their list of world factor prominently. 